Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I want to make a rug. So we're gonna make a rug in this video. That's pretty much it. I saw a lot of people making videos on YouTube of them making those little punch needle rugs and they look so fun. So I added it to my list of things I wanna do. I'll link the videos down below if you wanna go look at them. Yesterday, I already started the process because some of the things that I bought got here. So... So this was originally a canvas that had a, the, that crayon thing that people were doing in like 2017 or something and my sister and I had done it. So I cut out the canvas from here and now it's just this border for me to use. Basically the rug that I want to make is an angel. So I went on Pinterest and I looked at a bunch of angels shit and I figured out what image I wanted to do. Today we have a few things to do, but I will be going to the craft store and I'm going to buy yarn for this. I'm also going to buy a staple remover. But yeah, this is it from the intro of the video. Just the basic information that you need to know before I actually start off the video. Hey guys, I'm back. We're going to get this thing going. I really hope that the fact that the sun is setting is not bothersome. But I think it looks kind of cute. It's the same day still. I just changed. So I'm gonna put the video that I watched uh, playing on my TV. So his YouTube channel is called Curie Goat. Let me just give you a little bit of a rundown. So the materials that you will need are cloth. He said that the best one is monk's cloth. So that's the one that I have right here. Then you need a punch needle. That's the one. This is the one that I got. Um, it's just a wooden one and you need the filament to insert the yarn with and then you obviously need yarn and for the size of the yarn i googled it and it said that it could be a four or a five i got five bulky so yeah and uh, yeah and then i got the fabric marker because i have a fabric pencil but i don't know where it is and then what you need is a needle this depends on how you're gonna make your rug i think i'm gonna do it the needle way uh for the finishing so i have a needle for the wool did i say stapler you need a stapler and then you obviously need a frame so that you can put your cloth on it and i believe that that's all that you need i'm not very majestic when i do things Just put my anger. Just think about something that makes me angry. Capitalism. <laughs> Yo, it works. Now that I'm angry, the staple, I'm putting more pressure into it. <sighs> Period. Okay, that didn't work. What is wrong with you? Are you kidding me? Why are they yelling? This is not working, but as long as it holds, bro. <laughs> This is it. Okay, time to draw the angel. This is my inspo. Okay, so I just wanna to explain to you what I'm doing here really quickly. I put some pieces of paper on top of the canvas. Obviously not just one sheet of paper because there wasn't enough space in one single sheet of paper to make the angel the size I wanted it to be. And I just sketched over that so I could get an idea of the drawing here you can see me outlining the drawing with the marker I did that so the drawing was dark enough so that I could see it through the cloth because I put the drawing behind the cloth so that I could then outline the drawing onto the cloth itself and this is what it looked like here are a few clips of me just starting off um, so this is what the job looks like being done, I guess. Um, I obviously just threaded the little needle using the little filament that comes with it. And then I just started punching. It's been a few days since I've been doing the rug. I'm still not done because the day after I started filming this video was the day I got my COVID vaccine. So because of that, I rested the next day and I just took a day off. And then I've been really busy, so I haven't finished the rug yet, but I wanted to come on here and show you what the rug looks like right now. 
this is what it looks like right now i know it looks ugly because the yarn is all over the place but i'm leaving it like that and only cutting it when i'm fully done in case i want to go back to somewhere and fix it um but this is what i have so far i have the cloud done and the wings and the torso of the angel and stuff i'm finishing the face and i'm gonna finish the hair i'm also gonna fix the outline here because this was when i first started and it's kind of wonky because it was one of my first you know stitches or whatever and this is what it looks like on the back this is the little update regarding the rug um, i'm also going to do um the background white i'm gonna make this rug rectangle and have the outline of the angel in the middle so hopefully that looks good i will come back to you once the rug is actually finished i will also show you me finishing the rug hey everyone so an update on my rug i am going to finish it right now or start the finishing of it i'm gonna do the edges i'm sorry if i look like this i took my second dose of the vaccine today um so i just lay in bed for the rest of the afternoon because it made me super tired um but that's it it's barely even sore um when i first started filming this video the day after i started filming i actually took my first dose of the vaccine so i've been filming this video for a long time despite me not noticing but i'm finally going to dedicate my time to finishing the rug let me show you what i've done i finished the whole image of it so now i just need to remove it from the canvas um, border and finish the edges this is what it looks like right now it's done it looks so much better from the back because you can see the more deep it more detailed but yes um i do want to say that i will recommend that if you do a rug like this that has kind of smaller details like for me the hands are not very detailed they kind of look messy from close up and it's because the yarn that i got was too thick for this um so i think i got a size five i said so whatever size i, size I said at the beginning of the video just get one smaller if you do want to make this um, it's definitely good because I didn't have to do every single spacing. I still did pretty much every single spacing, but I didn't have to do every single thing because since the yarn is so thick, it covered up a lot. Um, but then again, because of that, it also covered up some details. But this is my first rug and I'm proud of myself. I have decided that I want to do the borders black um, so it can add more of an outline. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put on the YouTube video so I can watch how to do the ending because I forgot. And we're gonna sew the edges together. But if you do want to actually, you know, have a tutorial to watch, make sure to go watch the video. Um, I'm gonna link it in the description of the video that I'm using. And yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna start off by removing all of the staples that I put on to the frame so that it could hold the cloth and yes I'm gonna use a little staple remover to help me with that all right I removed all the staples now what we have to do is cut um, the extra pieces of the cloth and only leave about an inch of cloth so that i can sew it um and make the edges of the rug it's completely gone you can't even see it now and i'm just going to continue on the whole outside of the rug until it's done okay so hello everyone last update on the rug i finally finished the rug it was a long process because i worked on it on and off but this is the final product um yes i did the outline of it in black too because i thought it would frame it nicely you know and go with the outline of the angel it's not perfect because it's my first rug but you can see the details better on the back 
Izzy already sat on it as soon as I put it on the floor yesterday. So, you know, that's a good sign. She liked the rug. Um, but yes, once again, not perfect because it's my first rug. But it's a learning experience. Now that I actually know how to do it, I will buy better materials and improve, you know? But I'm still proud of this. This took a while and it looks pretty for my first rug. So yes, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for clicking as always and have a lovely day.